but it's not really always the best idea because then you have the problem of finding a contractor and getting a contract in place and, and doing all that. And a lot of these bonds don't necessarily have a clerk of the works option in them so, so that the, that falls on the town to be that clerk of the works, if you will, that normally the developer himself is being. So um, while season the bond sounds like a good idea, it's really not always far better if you have uh, other angles to get the uh, developer to uh, get the job done because that way that legwork, that clerk of the works job is being done by the developer, not by the town. Well, Warren, the, uh, the, the thing that disturbs me most about this, and we, although we haven't had a lot of street acceptances in the, in the recent past, is that th there doesn't seem to be a lot of leverage in getting the contractors to finish this stuff. We're talking about some of these things, you know, go way back. Uh, oh, yeah, some and they've been sitting there. And to me, that's lost revenue. I'm kind of on Dick Conavell's uh, uh, side of thinking here. Let's just accept the streets, turn the heat up, and get it done. And we're losing Chapter uh, 90 money uh, as a result of it. And uh, you know, why should we be giving up that money? If you take a look at the some of the streets we have in town and the conditions that they're in, and we have no money to... Uh, to fund the repairs, right? Well, and things get. I, I, I actually agree with it. I think you know, he, I'm on his, I'm on that side. I mean, he, he brought some things to light for us that we were not from this side of the room that we weren't totally aware, aware of, and that how how it affects the money that the town gets. And uh, realizing that, uh, we actually talked to a lot of these developers already. We brought a lot of them in, and we 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 gave them quite a little push at another meeting to get some of these things done. Now, no, we're on board with him. Absolutely. Can I just reference a section of this email? Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. No, that's okay. Go, go ahead. ahead. Listen, go ahead. I didn't get away. I didn't wear a tie, so you go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. You want to wear my tie? <laughs> Town Council does say that they recommend preparing a list of work to be done and cost estimates and provide that to the developer, um, requesting a written response from them before town meeting when they will go out and complete the work by. Uh, has that been done? At the meeting, we had a number that we had. We, we reviewed a bunch of these. We did have a bunch of the developers in. And we, and we did ask them rather specifically. And, I, and, and at that meeting, I actually tried to impress upon them the yeah, but that's, to getting these things done. I appreciate that. But has a written notice gone out? We were, uh, sorry, not um, the issue why it hasn't been sent out in writing is because we just had the site visit to get the estimated uh, cost updates okay. this past Friday. Okay. So now that we have that, um, we already have a draft letter actually from Copeland and Page on how to seize a bond from Yankee Way, <coughs> which we did, I think, two years ago. So all we have to do is take the updated cost estimates we received today and send out the punch list with them. Okay. Well, I understand why that hasn't gone out yet. Okay. And just carrying it forward, um, it suggests that the town should <coughs> hold off accepting a street if the town if the developer has agreed to do it and give you a timeline to do it within and it also cautions in here that the town may wish to delay action accepting a subdivision way until the work is done so not to create a situation which the developer is carrying out work on what has become a public way so I don't think we should accept any of these at this point All right, but you just said to us that town council weighed in, town council has, and now I've read this. I think they're cautioning us not to accept a way if a developer is going to be working on a public way. Well, yes, I put the idea of a permit process for liability insurance that covers the town territory. All right. The standard thing and everything else. But we have an opinion from town council, a recommendation. I talked to him myself. He said he had to put all that additional garbage in there, frankly. He, he said right up front, yeah, you can. Well, I, so. I don't think it says that we can't do it. I think it just cautions you yeah. that we should. So I'm not in favor of accepting any of these until we see substantial prog progress made in any of these punch lists. Mr. Belconis. Um I just want to wanted to go back because you asked me if I had a recommendation before, and I said no, but I do. And, and the reason I do is because I don't want to confuse the action that the board is taking this evening to accept the layouts with 
the vote of town meeting, which is actually to accept them as public ways. If you decide that you don't want to lay out these streets this evening, the process stops. It stops. Dead in its tracks. Nothing can be done mm -hmm. at town meeting. If you were to approve the layouts this evening, you always reserve the right to go into town meeting and say it's not done. We make a motion <clears> to <throat> pass over the articles, and that's the end of it. But I would please caution you to, to please um, consider laying out the roads because it does allow the process to continue and does give you the opportunity at the end to decide whether or not you wish to accept them at town meeting. Okay. No, that, that's all, fine. Yeah, there's all types of time frames. If you, uh, I'm sure the CPC is familiar. The plans need to be filed eight days before town meeting, and the layouts that you did uh, a week ago had to be filed. It's probably one of the more convoluted sections of law in terms of all of these ridiculous time frames that you have to meet. So it's important that you consider the layouts this evening, and I appreciate it. Thank you. That was going to be my input before I let you have my time, but I think it is important that we, we just stay the process, but we always have an off-ramp in that, you know, we have right up to the time of town meeting. Yeah, I'm just making it know what my position will be. That these punch lists yeah. are still out there coming but out I, meeting. But I think you have to give credit where credit is due. We, we've learned a lot of lessons, and I hopefully in the future we will make improvements on this. But they have come a long way in a very short time. I attended the CPC meeting from where we were <coughs> then to where we are now. It seems like we made significant progress, Sean. So well, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not disagreeing with anyone. I applaud Dick for finding that we can get chapter nine, additional Chapter 90 money. But That's I think terrific. our risk as a town is, is minimal. Well... I'm concerned about that email from town council, yeah, to be quite honest. Just very quickly, uh, we now have a process in place that if a developer gets to a particular point, we revise his bond and put a clerk in the works in there so that if they do call, we have the extra money. To right. That's great. Money. Good. We made that change because uh, we made that change a while ago, but unfortunately it was after most of these were in process. Mr. Chair, thank you. Mr. Yu. Yes. Um, if we decide uh, not to approve these ways, take possession of them, it'll stop the process. But what's the risk to the town? Because there doesn't seem to be an end to this in sight. I thought I heard Heidi stop. say something about 45 days or something like it'll that. Stop but accept this process. It won't stop the CPC and no. the town from working with the developer to complete it. But we've been doing that for a long time, right? Well, we're, we're at the point now, I think. If, if we don't accept, you gotta, if you lay out the way tonight and we fail to accept them at town meeting or put them even, you know, if we don't, if we withdraw them at town meeting for acceptance, we're going to then, we're going to start working with, with Dick and we're going to pull the bonds. That was before we got this letter from Copeland and Page. I was already ready for that. If they weren't going to come out and get these things finished for town meeting, we're going to start pulling the bonds. So if you, that's, if, what I'm, that's what I I plan on on doing as long as as long as the DPW can handle that the workload that we're gonna force on them it's gonna it's gonna kind of make usually ends up ends up that uh, Mr. Sorgan becomes a clerk of the works because somebody has to understand all of all of the, the uh, engineering ramifications of what's going on in the street I hate to do that to him. Oh, we're prepared to take that on. Mm -hmm. Hello, but m m Mr. Hayden. Thank you. Uh, with a, with a, uh, if, if you have to do that, what are we talking about as far as an, an end to all this? Are we talking a few months? We, regardless of what, you know, what we do here, regardless of what you have to do? We have, we, we, if once we take the bond, it's 45, we have to notify have 45, 45 days, days to, to complete the work. And that, at town meeting, if, if we don't accept the town meeting and we do it right after, that's just about the time the streets are going to close. For winter, if you if, if town meeting moves to June, it could be done, and you could accept them in June if you allow us to, because we don't normally accept streets in June. But April is there's not enough time to do any work and get things, even go out and check it to see if if the if they, the punch list have been completed because of snow in the streets. If it's moved, if town meetings move. That if won't town be meetings move, we got time. We got a month and a half. You know, we got a good month. <laughs> go out there and do that work if we can. What if you notify them now? I mean, a lot of these have been outstanding for... About pulling the bonds? Years. I mean, yeah, yeah, I mean no, these have been outstanding for yeah, years. Adrian, Adrian Way is a long old one. Huh? But well, most, well, a few of these have been... Before my A couple of years. I mean, some of them long time. But I mean, that. Well, I don't know what the newest one is. Probably Agatha Way. Yeah, I guess. Which is how old now? Three years. Okay. I think. Right. So... They're aged. 
the, yeah, the agings on these the agings on these things are you know that's a difficult one in itself because the guy that did the work died that fail already it, it, it was a foreclosure and we had a fight to get any money with him mm -hmm. to get anything done they expected us to do it all but what I'm saying is, is that uh, all of these, including the, the most recent one, which is Agatha Way, these are all, these are aged issues here. So that I don't have any sense of uh, compassion for the developers in relation to giving them additional time and, you know, the right. two weeks or three weeks and then oh, all of a sudden oh, the snow's flying and the, and the uh, hot top plants are shut down. Oh, we can't do anything now until next right. June. You know, well, if, most, if you most notify them this week, there's still time to... Most of these, uh, a couple of these subdivisions just finished houses and sold them. I think um, Great Lot, that was this past year that they finished their last lot. Also, um, New Campbellton. So we don't, they don't normally, they like to keep control of the street. They don't have to go for an opening bond to put the last driveways in and do all that work. And they, they finish the last layer, the final coat asphalt after the last house is built so they don't damage the roadway with their heavy equipment um, so that's what usually happens there so some of these things they've been around for a long time but they weren't sold the well McIntyre crossing has been complete there is no new building there the large project right large project that just didn't finish that long to complete so, so McIntyre we crossing was finished in 2007 <laughs> 2006. Six, something uh, like yeah, that. It was the that. issue there, and then it kind of fell off of our of our radar. And that, that is our fault for not pushing to get it done. So this evening, all we're being asked to do is accept the layout of the street, Lay out the not street. accepting the street. That's correct. That's it. Laying the street out. So I have no problem doing that. Moving forward with that aspect of it. And a recommendation will be made at town meeting then, associated with the progress based on. What CPC? Yes. Gentlemen, I got a question. Right. Uh, does this conversation apply for all streets, or is work from Valley Road? And uh, I don't know if they the general the, the general aspect does. Yes, but we're currently uh, open hearing on it. I get the way. You'll have time for that. <laughs> yes. Chris? They're accepting the engineering building, where the roads are, where the ponds are, the where the asphalt is, what's on the ground. But they're confirming so that when we, when we approve the subdivision, that's what you're talking about, we, told, we approve the design. Now they've come back with what's actually there. Okay. And that's what, that's what the selectmen announced uh, about all the proposals. Well, so they're laying not out. accepting, it's laying they're out. They're laying out. So what is the process they're of laying out? Is there a survey team that's going to be there? They've already, all it's all, that's all done. That's all it's already done. done. Okay. They have plans to sign it. I got the way, still needs a stone bound. They don't have plans for that yet. We, we have to basically sign the drawings. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's part of our the drawings that are before us are done by an engineering firm that are also bought it. Survey. Yeah. Survey and survey. Survey. Thank you. Okay. So, further discussion? I'll close the hearing <coughs> on the uh, layout of Agatha Way. Mr. Prisco. Sure now? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Chairman. I know you're in a hurry. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've tried three times. Mm -hmm. Mr. Chairman, I, I move to accept the layout of Agatha Way as shown on the plan drawn by O'Neill and Associates dated July 30th, 2010 by signing said plan and reporting to town. We, oh, excuse me. Reporting to the town. Skip over the second. What? I don't believe. I don't believe we have a plan yet. Right. For the Agatha so Way, so. So we don't have a layout. Right? We don't have a plan to approve this evening. All right. So. I withdraw my second. So. Okay. That's Next. Uh, do we need to? Well, that's for nothing. No, no. <laughs> no, no it's not for nothing. Close the public hearing. So I don't know if we need to continue it. Uh, 
move to, I don't know if we should probably continue the public hearing. Why? Until the 